Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 16th or the new moon. So we're just going to see what comes up. You may hear the wind blowing outside. So let's just see what we got. What do we have for around the 16th? The Empress. The Empress is a birth. It's the birth of a new life. It's a new beginning. A mother. This is a very fertile time. It is a time of growth. Incubation. Now, uh, this is also unconditional love in abundance. The Empress represents unconditional love. That's what we want. We all want unconditional love. So this time is about love, right? It's about getting that love. There's self-love involved here as well. Doing what your heart wants. The Empress is very uh, heartfelt. She does everything with love. Uh, this is the goddess of love. So it's all about love. It's all about abundance. It's a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. This is a time of uh, regeneration, perhaps. This is definitely the birth of a new life. Could be dealing with anybody, but we are in Libra season. And Libra is uh, represented by Venus and Taurus. So we could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but it could be anybody. This is the birth of a new life. It is the, it is, this is a new, be new beginning right here. This person is very sensual. If, if, if this is a person, rather than an energy, this is a person that is very sensual, very sexual, very nurturing, very caring, very loving, very expressive of their feelings. A domestic goddess, mother, caregiver. This time is definitely about being loved and cared for. That's what everybody wants. Strength reversed. So the strength reversed is vulnerable, weak, low self-esteem, feeling feeling inadequate, depression, despair, uh, egotistical, extremely egotistical, fearful. We may have somebody that is very fearful. They uh, are fearful of doing something by the looks of things. There's some sort, and there may be there may be some illness here. There could be weakness. It could be, um, well, it's low self-esteem, low self-confidence. We have somebody that may feel like they're not good enough. They may feel like they're not good enough for unconditional love. This is some sort of illness or something or weakness. No courage. The lovers. The lovers. Now, this is about a contract. It's about, uh, I was going to say soulmates right off the bat. Um, maybe there's a soulmate contract here. The lovers is an unexpected choice in love. Somebody may have an opportunity to make another decision uh, that could probably lead them to some sort of perfect match, but they have some sort of fear. Okay, there is definitely some sort of fear here. Fear of rejection, perhaps. There's lack of courage. Um, but there is an opportunity or this card wouldn't be here. It's very unexpected. And when there's a choice, and this is a choice, there's always consequences. And there's always two paths. 
or more. But well, I think there's two in this case. I feel like somebody has to make a choice. And they're having, they're struggling, obviously struggling. Uh, they're having doubts, very fearful. Um, now this is, this is like, uh, that's why I, I, I think I already said it. We definitely have a sexual connection here with all three of these cards. Okay, all three of these symbolize a sexual connection, a, a magnetic pull, per se. Um, there is an opportunity, this is like a healing love. There's an opportunity to heal with somebody, somebody that can help you to heal, somebody that can really take care of you. This is tender love and care right here. Somebody may be falling for somebody unexpectedly, but there's some sort of fear that is getting in the way of this union. So... Three of Rods, Three of Wands. This is preparation. Somebody has been waiting and waiting and waiting. What they've been waiting for is now, it feels like it's arrived. They have to definitely make a choice. Definitely. And, and maybe, maybe they have to take a risk and, and hope for the best. But there's definitely some, some fears, like I've already said. There's an opportunity to focus on the future and leave the past behind, but that will mean that you have to, you know, not focus on the past. Somebody is probably very worried or anxious or something about the past. And, you know, there's an opportunity to leave the past behind. Uh, three of Wands is get prepared. Something is coming or something has arrived already. It's like the time has come. Here it is. This is what you've been waiting for. On the ground. Oh, two of them. Two of pentacles. There's a choice. Ten of rods reversed. So this is a, making a conscious change. Balance is waiting. These are both cards of balance. If there's an opportunity, but you're definitely going to have to make a choice. Okay, you got to make a choice between two paths. This will entail letting go of something. Now, this is definitely about letting go. Letting go of a burden. Letting go of your worries. Letting go of your fears. Uh, stepping into unknown territory. Uh... Letting go, letting go of whatever it is that somebody has, maybe somebody has been holding a grudge, trying to protect themselves or something like that. This is freeing yourself because balance, there's not, and, and, and this is all about balance, okay? This is about restoring balance in your life. Somebody has been juggling, they've been playing, they've been playing a lot of games, probably showing off, uh, maybe for for people, you know, playing games, but there's an opportunity to, you will probably have to let that go. You may have to let that go because uh, you can't keep playing games. Somebody's been playing games. I feel like the games are over. I do. This is the end. It's the end of playing games. If you get in this union, there are no more games to be played. Okay, so that's what this is. <laughs> This is. I mean, the Empress, if you think about the Empress it, as a person, she knows her value, she knows her worth, and she doesn't play games. She is the pick. She's glowing. She's beautiful. She can, she's a creator. She creates things, and they grow. She delivers. She heals. So anyway, somebody is definitely going to have to make a choice between two paths, okay? I mean, that is definitely what we got here. And it's unexpected. I think it comes out of nowhere, this option, this choice. And there, this is about uh, needing to find balance, needing to adapt, needing to be flexible. So, you know, there's, there's a going to be a need to... Uh, let go of fear for one thing and hope for the best. 
somebody may be doing that. Uh, there's some sort of decision here. And it's, it's a, uh, well, it's a scary one. It is a scary one. Nine of Pentacles. And we've had this a lot. We have an individual here that is very abundant. This is the this is the Empress in the minor. Okay, so we definitely have a very abundant individual who is very comfortable. Uh, this is somebody that has worked hard to est establish success by themselves. This is a very hard worker. This person isn't struggling. This person is enjoying life. They're comfortable. They're set. Uh, single, independent, waiting. Um, definitely has something of value. So we definitely have a valuable individual here, who had, and it's going here, that has been waiting. And there is somebody that sees this valuable ind independent person uh, this person has made a wish, has been wishing for somebody. This is a wishing well. Somebody has made a wish. <laughs> now there's a rival. This is an arrival of some sort. There could be, I don't know, if there's a distance or what. Um, but this is a making a conscious change to let go of a contract. Somebody is going to have to make a choice. Are you ready to let go of the past contract? There's a new life here. There's a false contract that needs to be let go. Because there's an opportunity for a new beginning here with somebody that is very abundant. That can take very good care of you. If you, and that is if you are the man, the male, the masculine, whether you're same sex or whatever, the masculine energy, the masculine energy has an opportunity for unconditional love with somebody that is full of it. This person is full of love. This person will put them on a pedestal. This person doesn't need, doesn't need them for their money, doesn't need them for anything other than love. This is somebody who is very, very uh, stable, solid, secure, uh, probably has money, abundant, very, very abundant. She has a golden opportunity in her hand. This person has a golden opportunity. And if you are the feminine watching this and you are set, you are comfortable, you're not struggling, you know, you are enjoying your life. You're just been waiting. Somebody is coming. This person is right here. But there's fear. There is some fear. There's fear of, you know, <laughs> what if I do this? What if I step into the picture? What if I go after this person? What if I'm not good enough? Because this is intimidating. It is intimidating. What if I'm not good enough? What if I get rejected? What if, you know... Uh, they don't want me. Now the Empress has multiple choices and I feel like whoever this person is knows that. And that may be why they're fearful. This person who has a golden opportunity has somebody coming. Now, this may be, if this isn't love, I think it is love related because this is an unexpected choice in love. It, it's, it is. It's like it's it's totally unexpected. You didn't you weren't looking for it, but here it is. And this is the 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 connection is so strong. It is. It's a very strong connection. But interesting because this strength card is re reversed. So there is there is probably well there's going to need to be a choice. It's going to take strength. It's going to take courage. It's going to take confidence. And whoever this person is, is lacking. They are lacking those qualities at this moment. They have them in there. They're just not using them. This person has been loving playing games. Been player mode. This is total player mode. You think about juggling. What is juggling? Juggling is a game. 
but we got somebody here who has been playing games and they I feel like they know they know that you know if they get involved with this individual the game's up there's been abandonment there's this is abandonment or there's going to be okay there is an unexpected choice in love. Somebody's probably going to be outcast or they're going to be left in the cold or they have been. We have we have we have consequences here a couple times. Somebody may be feeling abandoned or they may be feeling like a victim. They may have abandoned somebody. They may want, I don't know what this is. There's abandonment here. And there could be abandonment issues. We could have somebody that is fearful of getting abandoned. They're fearful of, of because uh, this is, I can, I, it feels like it's extreme fear. They, have, they may have to make a conscious change to let go of their fear and ask for help or ask for forgiveness or oh, something like that. I feel like we have somebody here that is down and this person can help them back up, back up, can help them to heal, can pick them back up. You know, we may have somebody that is struggling, you know, they're struggling in with their responsibilities or something like that and I feel like there's help around here so I don't know whose story that is this is a very set individual that is very capable of helping so I feel like somebody is going to be helping another person get up get back on their feet or something like that I don't know uh, how that resonates with you get prepared because uh, there is somebody that is is very abundant that is like right around the corner and they're they're just waiting for somebody to see their value so I don't know who that is for because that is value that is value but anyhow this ten of this ten of wands reverse is a conscious change somebody needs to make a conscious change but it will involve uh, making a choice because we do have that choice change is needed you can't have it all okay so a change is definitely needed Ah, page of rods or page of wands. So news is coming. It is good news. So somebody is going to send a message. They are going to send a message. They are very curious. They are very interested. They have been watching and they are about to uh, do something. Do something risky. I think they are going to take a risk. I think they're ready for a change. This person is ready for a change. I think whoever this person is has been overwhelmed. They've been overwhelmed with their current circumstances. They've been feeling down. They probably have been having some regrets, and it, you know, or something about life. This could be somebody brand new. I don't know, but this page of wands as news is coming. Good news. A message is coming. A message is coming that uh, it's probably a very exciting message. Somebody is is. Uh, about to burst into your world, put it that way. Um, this is an offer or an invite. This is somebody that is get finds their courage, okay? After not being able to find it, okay? This is somebody that is deciding to take a new direction, that decides to let go of their fear and just do it. So I do feel like there is somebody that is getting ready. They're get, either getting ready to travel in a new direction or to go in a new direction. They're ready for a new life. So they are about to take action. I feel, feel like it's very, you know, sudden. I feel, I do, I do. I think it's a un, sudden, unexpected choice somebody makes because it's what their heart wants. I feel like they've been overwhelmed and they've been, uh, you know, maybe outcast, maybe even disgraced, maybe even... Uh, Oh, sick, you know, with worry over, you know, whatever it is that they've been doing. Anyhow, um, we do have some good news that is coming. Somebody is definitely deciding to take a risk. They are going to take a risk and they are going to communicate with this, uh, beautiful individual because the, the Empress is 
somebody that is very valuable, very beautiful, very um, fertile, <laughs> creates, loving, gentle, kind, everything. She is the pick, okay? Um, very interesting. So a message is coming from a previous player. This person was a player. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, I gotta be honest here. This person was a player. But now, now it's like they don't want to they've been overwhelmed this person's been extremely overwhelmed but now it's like they're letting go they're letting go of a grudge they're letting go of a burden they're ready they're ready for a better future they are so they're focusing on the future and whoever and whoever is in the future i think they got their eye on somebody who's very very abundant i mean this person is abundant and this person has been wishing and waiting and has been abandoned by somebody else so interesting Six of Swords reversed. Now that's not going anywhere. Staying put. Somebody may be feeling very worried about somebody going somewhere. That makes sense. So they may want them to stay put. Six of Swords reversed. That's staying put. Not going anywhere. Somebody doesn't want anybody to go. They don't want to lose. Now they have to make a choice. Queen of Rods. Queen of Rods. Now this is about confidence, courage, determination. I think we find we have somebody here that is going to find their strength they're going to find their strength to face their fears we have a we, this queen of rods is you know it feels like they're i got to change this up a minute well let me just finish this one thought first we have somebody here that is going to find the strength and their courage to do something okay what are they going to do Two of rods reverse. Two of wands reverse. It feels like they're going to try to stop somebody. Two of wands. Sudden arrival. Come back. Somebody may try to come back. They may choose to let go. And I'm going to go to where I was going a minute ago. There could be another person here. Another woman. You know, or another man. And this is a choice between the two. They may be choosing to abandon the other person. Or, and I, you know, that's the way it goes. There's no love here. Okay, the only love is the Empress. Where's the red in the in the lover's card? Other than that, we don't got no love here. That's a fact. Somebody has been in a loveless situation. And that is what this energy is all about. And there's an opportunity for unconditional love. Somebody has been staying put in a situation with an individual that may have been exciting or something like that. Or maybe it was a sexual situation or whatever. But it wasn't, there wasn't no love there. Anyhow, I think that we have an individual that is making, we have choices all over here. They've been indecisive and they've been extremely fearful. And I feel like what they're doing is they're choosing between another person that they were with for, to fill a void. And this unexpected opportunity that is right in front of them. So... This is somebody that is a warrior. This is a warrior. This is somebody that is uh, takes the lead, that is ready to fight, that is ready to battle, that is ready to do whatever it is to win. So I do believe that we have a we have a winner here. Somebody that is willing to do whatever it takes to be successful and win. Now, this is some sort of being urged to do so as well. I think we have an individual that is being urged. They're being urged to uh, 
do something. This is victory. This does end in victory. So somebody is going to be victorious. They're going to find their strength and their courage. It's almost like to face the world, to face the crowd, to do whatever it is that they want to do for themselves. So somebody is about to take action. They're going to be communicating with uh, somebody that they may have ghosted or neglected or not commute or didn't choose at one point. Or they run into this person uh, out of nowhere because this is somebody bursting into your world. You know, uh, there's a need to adapt and be flexible with change. This is about change. Your life is about to change. There's an opportunity for unconditional love here. But you're going to have to not be a victim and let go of whatever it is that is giving you trouble you know you're somebody's in a very troubled situation with another person that isn't about love and they've been very sad in this situation it's a sad situation i can see that it is very discontent very discontent very very like oh my god i can't believe i got myself into this you know that kind of thing um but whoever they're dealing with is forceful and I feel like there's, there's, you know, a need, and, and maybe they don't want to hurt that person. But anyhow, there is an unexpected choice in love here. It's, uh, it is actually exciting with that page of rods, okay, page of wands, okay? Somebody's about to get an offer or an invite from somebody that has been uh, probably, well, this person hasn't been very focused. They have been playing a lot of games. They've been fearful. Now this person is about to take a risk. Um, and maybe they're going to fall in love. It looks like falling in love. And it leads to success because that six of wands. There's an opportunity for success here. I feel like this is like some sort of soulmate situation. Um, good luck.